somehow we started, you know, I try to usually go through this a few times a year. We start at one and work out our way all the way through. There are around 200. Some of them are repeated. Some of them are repeated throughout. And then we have like, you know, maximum number three, next maximum number three, a maximum number three B. Uh, Roy C did the best he could keeping track of this stuff. He, he, he wrote this thing for seven years. So it makes sense that he would get confused or repeat things. Um, maxim number one game is learn charisma streamline seduction game is as sincere as its practitioner's intent and if you want to drill it down to its most simple you know when people ask me you know what what is game i always say game is learn charisma and it really catches people off guard because they think it's a manipulative tactic it's pickup or it's some kind of weird like neuro-linguistic programming, all these kind of strange manipulative methods when actually it's really about learning how to become more charming and girls like to be around charming men. It's really an A plus B equals C formula. And it's hard to fool people. It's hard to fake um, as far as like, is it genuine? Streamline seduction. We take the mystery out of romance or moving girls to sex. We really do break that down to a formula that works and you can plug girls into it and repeat it. And I think that's kind of the scary or the unbelievable part for a lot of men. Now, no, you can't plug all the women. You have yes girls, maybe girls and no girls. But in general, that's the part that I think really throws people is that you can learn a system and a formula to to take a girl from complete stranger to knowing you very well, to trust you with her body, you know, in the most intimate circumstances to improving your marriage. You know, that's what uh, dread is, is where you apply game to your marriage. Um, but it is streamlined seduction. We drill it down to its most essential parts and make it black and white and game is as sincere as its practitioner's intent. And this is a thing that also I think upsets people. They, they think that there's a negative intent and it really comes down to, do you use it for good or do you do, use it for evil? I mean, are you, you know, it, and those definitions are completely up to you. Like for some people, you know, it's straight to marriage with one person. Um, or everything else is kind of wrong. And then there's, you know, you run a rotation where you don't commit to any one person because it's not within you, you know, at that moment. And then over time, you will end up with an exclusive relationship, maybe, um, or move to marriage. And the thing that I try to convey to people is with, with knowing game, you know, life is long. So you may apply it to getting a girlfriend. You may apply it to running a rotation. You may apply it to finding a wife. You may apply it to your marriage. You may apply it to your 30 year marriage. It, and this may be all one person because things are going to change. You'll be single for a while. Then you might have a couple of girlfriends in succession. Then you might just say, you know what? I need to not, date anybody exclusively, but I still want to like, you know, I like being around women. So you're dating three or four girls for a year or two, and then one really stands out and then you guys get more serious. Then you're exclusive. Then you may decide to get married. You're married for 10 years, then you're divorced. So there's, there's many, many facets to this, but at the end of the day, game is learn charisma. And I guess I should pull up for those of us who don't know what Charisma is exactly, and I should have started this off from the beginning like this. Mornings are a little bit uh, discombobulated sometimes. Charisma is a personal quality of charm or presence that finds that others find psychologically compelling. People that have been known to be extremely Bill Clinton, from my understanding and, and from multiple eyewitness accounts and books that have been written where a person met him. They said he was the most charismatic man they've ever met. That no matter how many people were in the room, when he spoke with you, 
and engaged with you, everything else went away. It was like focused you that this president of the United States and leader of, you know, the free world gave his total attention to you and you felt locked in. And it's been repeated over and over, which is why he's such a player. I mean, the guy, you know, has been doing this for 50, 60 years. He loves women. Um, Elvis Presley, again, charismatic. Again, probably not as promoted as, you know, if you watch any documentary, and I just kind of stumbled on this because I'm not, you know, um, a huge music follower, but, you know, I, I key in on the, the big personalities. And it was a documentary and it had, it was about Elvis Presley. And it was like where somebody had a super eight camera and they're basically filming him through his day. And I think he was in Vegas at that time doing his, his daily show. Um, and they're, they're moving and he's always got three or four guys with him, the, the Memphis mafia. But all they talked about was the women that were in the audience and the girl that he was with the night before. And Hey, did you see that brunette? on in aisle five last night, you know, basically a player at all times and very charismatic and basically, you know, fame and fortune are the two biggest game factors that you don't, you don't really even need game. You just, the fame and the, the fortune just draws them in. Um, but those are an example of very Donald Trump. Again, another charismatic man. Um, he tends to draw people in and they, they're locked in. So that's what you see with charisma. And game is learn charisma. You can learn how to be charismatic. And again, and the interesting thing with learning charisma, um, there's a lot of things that you might not have. You might not have money. You might not have um, a, a harem of women behind you. you might, none of these things matter because you can, when you're learning game, you can fake it till you make it. And that's one of the things that I really like is that guys from the very beginning can kick in like one or two game techniques, like less is more like the way they change the way they're texting or they change the way they're communicating with women, you know, remotely. And it will change almost instantaneously. And in that one conversation, like when we talk about less is more, you know, you speak slower, you use fewer words, you let her talk more, um, no emojis, no punctuation. And when guys actually apply this, they get instantaneous results. It's like, yeah, they, the girls started reacting completely differently. They're much more compliant. They're much more engaged. So there's things that you can do today and apply into your game that make you appear more charismatic. And what we say perception is reality. Um, if you're interested in, in, game and let's walk into it here maxim number one game is learned charisma streamlined seduction game is as sincere as its practitioner's intent it's as good as you want it to be you know you can use it for good or or questionable or bad it's completely up to you um but it is a learnable process it can be faked till you make it you can fake it till you make it and it is streamlined seduction you can learn how to move girls down the pipeline um, into your bed in an A plus B equals C formula that you can repeat with relative um, certainty that it's going to work, especially the more women you meet, the better you get at picking women to, to meet up with. A lot of guys where you see them being very successful, they've just gotten very good at ignoring the no girls and focusing on, on the girls that are yes girls. So a lot of it's picking your person. Um, but that is what it is. And if you're interested in this, what I always recommend, I recommend basic training one and two. It's about game and the techniques of game and applying game in common language. Because, you know, in game, we have a lot of our own language um, that you have to kind of stop and look it up and go, what the hell does that mean? Like a nag or... Um, you know, just you name it, you know, or bouncing or running a rotation or spinning plates. These are all game terms that if you don't know what they mean, you can get confused. And if you like project your own definition onto something, sometimes you can like go off in the wrong path. That's why I always like look up certain words like charisma 
to define exactly what it is. Um, that way there's no confusion as to what are we, what are we attempting to discuss? Um, but basic training one and two is what I wrote for the new guy that is either beginning or intermediate and intermediate means a lot of times things aren't passed down to you. You don't know to set a reservation. You don't know where to walk down a city sidewalk when you're with a girl. There's certain things that guys don't know. They don't know to plan ahead that, you know, even if they're starting to become intermediate, but you're running more women, but you're going to run up into roadblocks simply by because you're juggling. But basic training one and two really does cover the basics of game and dating etiquette um, and will give you a good base to start with to work on your game. And it's, there's a lot of game in there and the mechanics of it and also how to dress and, you know, taking care of yourself because all these things add up and, and um, increase your value. So that's number one, maxim number one. And I hope I didn't like just beat it to death. Game is learn charisma, streamline seduction. Game is as sincere as its practitioner's intent. Let's see what else we got. Do these volumes teach 